Hi, I'm making this video for creatives who are struggling. So if everything is going your way, you can just sit this one out. It's not for you. Three months ago, we moved back to the farm. And as we went, there went my studio. A lot of my stuff went into storage, my uh, supplies and equipment. My leisurely lifestyle went. My, a lot of my personal and private space, it was reduced. And my, my responsibilities increased. The change was so rapid that I, I felt it was like doing a still life in a taxi cab, a speeding taxi cab at that. So I made this as an illustration. I know I'm not alone. There must be others of you that are experiencing the same thing, so that's why I'm sharing this video. The first thing I, I have been learning is the creative ability can't be stifled. It will find expression, so I look for ways to develop that alternative outlets for creativity. I have a piano in this space, so I get to do music. Writing doesn't take up much room, so that I have room to do. Even training my dog is a form of creativity, not to mention making meals, etc. Uh, so I learned to look for these ways. Another thing is I can take in instead of producing. I've been borrowing books from the library. This is the last one I did. It's about watercolor, which I find difficult, obviously. <laughs> anyway, I've been learning some things. And after all, what we are... What we can express is limited by what we are. So coping with change um, forces us out of our deadly comfort zones. And that's a good thing. And when life gives me jet lag, I'm learning to have patience with myself. That's what I'm trying to do, is have patience with myself and my circumstances. After all, nothing's permanent, is it? The distractions are everywhere. The routines are gone. And these limitations are unlimited. With more people inhabiting my space, I have less ability to focus. And I find focus really important in art. So that's a, a bit of a workout. What I don't need are videos watching, watching videos of people's big art halls of supplies to make you drool. And, well, that's not why they do it, but that's what happens. And then also, um, people who have their studios, all, it's all in place, watching the big, magnificent, all the well-lit, spacious studios. That's hard to watch, so I don't need to do that. But I, as I, but I need to lower my expectations of myself momentarily while I'm expecting an increase in my capacity so that once the ride is over, and it will be over, once the ride is over, I will find myself in a better space or place uh, creatively. And that's a good thing. So enjoy the ride. I hope this is a help. Thanks for watching.